Hi everyone, Suzanne Warlett here from Witch Hazel's Magic and Witch Hazel's Kitchen and it is the 21st of April which means it's National Tea Day so I just thought I'd jump online do a little video about making tea. There's a lot of controversy, do you put the milk in first, do you put the water in first, how strong do you make it and a lot of it comes down to personal preference but there are certain guidelines to consider. Now here in the UK we get through a lot of tea, a lot of tea. Um, it's still the number one drink ahead of coffee. Um, and when we're talking about tea, here in the UK, if someone says, you know, do you want a cup up, we're talking black tea. There are other teas, green tea, white tea, even like herbal teas and fruit teas. Can you really call it a tea if there's no tea plant in it? Or is it merely an infusion? That's a whole other controversy. So when we're talking about black tea, there is kind of a correct way to make it. If you're just making a standard cuppa, whether you put the milk or the water in first really does depend on whether you are making your tea in a pot or in your mug. So, first things first, you want enough water to do the job. You don't want to be boiling water again and again and again because what that does is it sort of destroys the oxygen molecules in the water and that's going to affect the flavour. You're not going to get a proper um, brew on it. And the other thing you need to do is use freshly boiled water. So once it comes up to the boil, put it into your teapot. Um, if you let it, if you let the temperature drop, say you forget that you've boiled the kettle, you come back to it five minutes later, it's not going to be hot enough. So freshly boiled water. And it is that temperature that is key in the milk or water first argument. So what you do, if you are making your tea in a teapot it doesn't matter if it's loose leaf or tea bag if you are making your tea in the teapot you're going to put your tea in the pot warm the pot first and then put the tea in the general rule is one teaspoon measure per cup plus one for the pot i've got a little diddy baby one here i can get you know two mugs out of that I tend to put one big heaped spoonful in and that kind of does me. Freshly boiled water, let it brew for two to three minutes. If you let tea brew longer than that, you're not going to get a stronger cup, you're going to get a more bitter cup of tea. There's more tannins in it then and um, particularly if you drink like green tea or jasmine tea, you know if you leave it too long it gets really bitter. Some people like that, most of us don't. So if you want a stronger cup of tea, you add more tea. You don't let it brew for longer. Two to three minutes is all you need. If you're making your tea in the mug or in your cup, you're going to put, most people use a tea bag. You can get like little ball infusers for taking loose leaf tea. If you're using loose leaf tea or a tea bag in your cup, it is most important that you put the water in first because it's the high temperature, the boiling water that is going to get the flavour out of your tea. As long as you remember that, it all makes sense. Boiling water onto tea, it brews nicely. It draws all of the flavours, all the complexities out of your tea leaves. If you put your milk in first, drop your tea bag on top, and then pour your boiling water into it, your water, when it hits the tea, is not going to be boiling. It's going to have been taken down a few degrees, possibly quite a few degrees, by the presence of the milk. So you're not going to get a good brew. You'll get something, but it's not really very satisfactory. If you make your tea in a pot, put your milk in the cup first. Or second. Really makes no difference. Because you're not putting the milk in your teapot and then serving it to everybody. Make sense? I hope so. So the key thing to remember with your tea, warm your pot. If you're making it in a cup, by all means warm your cup as well. One spoonful of tea or one tea bag per cup. If you're making it in a pot, one for the pot as well. Freshly boiled water, brew for two to three minutes, no longer unless you like a bitter cup of tea. And if you are pouring your water straight into the cup, you add the milk second. 
hope this helps everybody. <laughs> Enjoy your cup of tea, have a biscuit. If you are that way inclined, a bit of cake. Oh, nice bit of cake. Might have to make some cake later. Enjoy National Tea Day. Let me know how you take yours. Um, do you sweeten it with sugar, white sugar, brown sugar? Mm, controversial. Honey, meh, huh? Um, let me know. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'm going to go make a cup of tea now. Bye-bye.